Hello everyone, this is Marquincia. I know it's been a while, I've been really busy with school and just life itself. But anyway, um, I know I'm looking a mess, <laughs> but I have a braid out that I did and put some rods at the end of my hair to have a little curl at the end instead of having like that straightness to it. So anyway, um, I want to see how the braid out is going to look. Of course, I don't know how it's going to look. Um, and I guess we'll both find out together. So I'm going to just go ahead and take these rods out. And I have, let me see, I don't even know. I just pretty much just, cause, because of my hair is so thick, I just pretty much just braided it according to the thickness. Um, and t according to how I want my wave pattern um, or how much wave I want to, how much wave, like the more braids you have, the more waves you have. It'd be like a little bit smaller instead of those thick waves. So, two, I've got one more in there. Hold on. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and then nine, ten. So ten braids in. And what I did, I put when I um was braiding them, I put um the cream of nature leave-in conditioner on it. I also put some um some mix that I made out of Neutrogena water and some oil. And I also used some kid care foam wrap. And I think that's about. It. Oh, and some grapeseed oil, all on that, and then I put the grapeseed oil on the ends and the just pretty much up through the hair. So it's really, really, really soft, really soft, y'all. So anyway, let's go ahead and take this out so we can see how it's going to look. And I probably should have got the oil to help take it out, but already to me has enough oil, so I'm probably just gonna leave that alone. And I don't know if I'm going to run out of time when doing this video, but if I do, then I'll just um, create a video with my braid out. Because I'm doing this on my um, laptop. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to continue to take the braids out. Y'all, I got these stupid nails on. Um... I was in a wedding, my cousin's wedding. It was a beautiful wedding. Really, really nice, elegant. Um, just really pretty. So that's the reason for the um, the nails. Otherwise, I wouldn't be wearing nails because I don't wear nails at all. Because my nails grow. But, yeah. But how have you guys been doing? I know you can't answer back, but you can comment at the bottom, you know. But, I don't know, just seeing how everybody else is doing, how their life is going, um, what you, got, what you guys been up to. Most of you probably are in school, whether college or high school or work. One of the three. <laughs> so, I don't know. We all just live our lives. Um... I don't know, I heard a story on the news, um, and it was about this girl who got abducted by these people, um, in a van, she was like 20 years old, she was going, she has a twin sister, she was going to go meet this guy, um, told her sister she didn't feel comfortable, you know, meeting with this guy, um, told her sister to call her within five minutes, so, anywho, so once the girl was getting into the van, something was wrong where she was trying to get out of the van and was getting pulled back into the van she got out of the van somehow got ran over by the van and someone still pulled her into the van now this was seen by um an, an onlooker someone a pedestrian or whatever not a pedestrian I think it was in his car so just by someone else the um, whole thing was seen by someone else and the man called the police let him know um, that he just saw this girl get abducted 
and told him where he was at, et cetera, et cetera. So anywho, the police didn't come um, when he was calling, and he was basically following this van, you know, and I don't know, like, so eventually he lost sight of the van, and the police finally did come wherever his other destination was, and now today, um, which is like two, three weeks later, um, they think they may have found the girl's body. This could have been prevented, people. This could have been prevented in so many ways, and I don't like to judge, so I'm just not going to go there, but I don't know. It could have been prevented, I think. Anyway, um, I just noticed something, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'll just keep the people's family in prayer. So, um, the last girl, her name was McCoy, so um, that's her last name. I think it's Michelle McCoy. Um, so just keep in family in prayer. This can happen to any one of us, whether. You know, we decide to meet with someone or not. You can still just get abducted off the street. So we always got to be prayed up, people. And just be thanking God for life. Thanking God for life. But let's see. I don't know how many breaks I got out so far. I'm trying to go ahead. It pretty much is going to look like I'm going to probably have to go and... Um, I'll move it up so you can see everything. So I can see the time as well. Let's see, I got a couple more braids. And I know I said I was going to show you guys a hairstyle. I haven't had the opportunity to do that. Just got a relaxer like some weeks ago. Going on to a month now, so yeah. So I, and I can't, as of now, I can't get a hairstyle. I promise you, I'm going to bring you a hairstyle, but as of now, for about a good two months, can't do my hair. It's an event that I am going to have to go to, so, yeah. I had braided some micros in my hair, but then I took them out. <laughs> um... Really wouldn't feel. I really didn't want to, but it was, uh, just some. I would do micros basically to not do my hair. But on this journey, I am really trying to take care of my hair, so that would defeat the purpose. Other than if I de <clears throat> decide to wear them for about a couple of months. However, when I get micros, I wear them more than just a couple of months, which is to me, it defeats the purpose because your hair is not is going to always grow. Um, but you're not, and it's going to hopefully retain some length, but as soon as you take it out, you mean you need to go ahead and start doing what you need to do as far as keeping the moisture and sealing, et cetera, et cetera. But you're not deep conditioning your hair. Some people don't even wash the hair. I do though, but I don't know. I just feel like you need to just leave it away for a couple of months because your hair needs to, to be washed, conditioned, oil, and your ends, X. Especially is the most important. Okay, so right now I have one more break to take out. And I am trying, people. And I just remember you guys don't even know how long my hair it is, really. And I'm doing this braid out. Looks uh, like I got one more braid. Now it's a curl. Uh, but yeah, you guys haven't seen my hair other than the videos, but it's longer than that. No. And it's so crinkly. I hope this was right. It, it to me be looking so cute on other people. But I always think it just looks a little weird on me, like as if I need to do my hair. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's me. But we're gonna see, because if this braid out don't turn out right, then we're gonna do something else. Yeah. 
gonna do something else. Come on, bright. And it's so oily. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's really oily. In the back of my hand. You can probably see that oil. Um not like too much oil, but it's oily enough to um to just be falling out like with the um braids. I don't have to really worry about too much. Right now what I'm doing is going into the hair and of course separating the curls um as much as I can. And I don't know, to me my hair is not long enough for a braid out that it looks right. I know people know that ain't make no sense probably, but I don't know, it just looks really, really short to me. And my hair is nowhere near this short, so I don't know, not really. Now the top part I'm going to do all over the place. I think I'm gonna go to the mirror, um, and just kinda play with it and then, you know, like I said, create a video that just shows my hair. That's what I'm going to do. But I'm about, I mean, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I can't really, I can see what I'm doing, but I am, I'm not really feeling it. I don't know. I really don't like this. <laughs> I don't know, it just looks so short, like, and I like my hair cut short, but curl, it just don't look cute to me. I don't know, people, I don't know. Um, you want to see me rambling. I was up here um, studying for a test. Oh, I got one more curl, one more braid in there. I was studying for a test I got on Monday and decided, man, I haven't been on YouTube in a while and made any videos. Of course, I know what school and everything. And just really wanted to get on and make a video because I had braids in my hair. And I was like, oh, I gotta, I'm doing a braid out, so why not do a video? Not people. Why not? Yeah, I tell I just um pretty much woke up within some hours. <laughs> woke up eight and still got my little it's cold. We here in Florida and it's cold. Um so not as cold as yesterday, but it's it's still cold. It's not supposed to be this cold. Like you might as well just snow some of the days that how cold it is, but of course, you know. I don't know if I wanted it to snow. <laughs> See all these problems and issues all these states are having with snow, um, planes and etc. So, yeah, never mind. No snow. It's really cold. Um, cold where you can see the the breath. Oh, and it's very foggy here. Very dangerously foggy. Whereas you can see one moment and you continue to drive, and you can't see the next moment. Like that is very dangerous. I was on the bridge and um, looked out, you know, on the waters or the city, whatever, off the bridge, and I uh, couldn't see the city. It's, to me, really dangerous. I could see where I was driving on the bridge, you know, going straight, whatever, but on the sides, you can't see nothing. Like, I know it's a lot of fog when it's got water near, too, for some the moisture, but... Yeah. But anyway, people, I will be back once I'm done with all of this. I'm I don't know what I'm gonna do, but yeah, I'll be back. Ugh. Yeah, I'll be back. See you guys later. Bye.